Hey there, what's up? Welcome to Search Tech's channel and in this video I'm going to be showing you the best tips and tricks for your new MacBook Pro 2020. So let's begin with the video now. What's up? Welcome back to another video. Sergio here with Surge Tech. In this channel, I do a lot of tech reviews and tutorials. So if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell so that you get notified on future videos like this. So before I begin the video, go ahead and hit that like button as it helps the video out with the YouTube algorithm. And let's jump right into the video now. So the first tip is going to be how to access to Switcher. Switcher is going to be this option right here, which is going to show you all the apps that you have open at one time specifically. So you don't have to go all over your icons. And and to do this, all you have to do is press command and tap. That is going to show the switcher and you can easily go between the apps by pressing tap or just clicking on it. The second trick is going to be how to close the apps from this window right here. So in order to close the apps from the switcher, all you have to do is get on the switcher, select the app by just pressing tap several times until you land on the one that you want to close, and then you press Q. That's going to automatically close the app as you just saw. Now I'm going to show you a basic trick, which is going to be how to launch the spotlight search. So basically the spotlight search is going to be this right here, where you can easily type anything, say Apple, and then it's going to show you several windows where you can get Apple from you can get it from safari from the actual app from books or let's better put um technology that is going to show you a bunch of other windows that you can open that you can open and in order to access to this menu all you have to do is command space and that is going to take you to the spotlight search next up i'm going to show you how to move two or more than one different file at the same time so you can do this by just easily pressing on your pad and overshadowing it then you can move whatever file you want to that other folder that you want to move it to. You can also do this by pressing command C which is going to copy your files and then going to the place that you want to send it to command V. And as you can tell our two files are going to be right here on the desktop for us to look at. Also on your new MacBook Pro 2020 you can see where your files are stored. So if you have a downloads or document folder on your dock you can hold command and click on a folder or file to show its location. For example we have downloads right here open so we can just press command command and press on the file that's going to pop up a window right away showing us on finder where that folder is on your new macbook pro 2020 you can also preview the files in a folder by just moving your mouse over a file and then press the space bar to see a preview as you can tell here it's going to give you a bunch of information about that certain folder and when you're in that folder you can always press on whatever file and that's going to show you a preview next up i'm going to show you how to move any website that you have on your browser to your dock app and now you're going to have to do is track the URL bar in order to take it to your doc app as you can tell I just stood that and it's gonna be right here that's gonna make it so much easier whenever you're about to go to a website that you usually go to without having to open Safari and type everything first next up I'm gonna show you how to customize the finder bar finder is the default file browser on Mac OS and it's pretty customizable and can be shaped to your needs with a few quick clips so for instance if you have a folder that you access fre frequently you can add it to the finder sidebar for fast access so you simply go to that folder that you want to use click and drag it over to the sidebar and that's going to be added to your finder you can also remove any items that you want from the finder by just going here on finder preferences and once you're there you're going to have this menu right here you go on sidebar and you're going to have this bunch of options where you can add or delete options from there in addition you can always change what buttons appears at the top of the finder window by just going on view you go to customize toolbar and then you can add and remove the buttons that you want next up I'm going to show you how to digitally sign your documents so with so many people working from home maybe signing your documents on your Mac has become essential but there is a much simpler way to do it than printing the document and signing it then scanning it back to your Mac okay so you're going to go to the preview section which is going to be this one and once you're there you're going to see tools right here up top and you're going to go right here and all the way at the bottom you're going to see signature so you just go on manage signatures and right there is going to ask you to sign your name on a white paper and then hold it visible to the camera and then anytime that you want to sign a document just open it on preview click tools annotate signature and click your signature to drop it in the place so next up I'm going to show you how to bring out the control center the control center plays a huge role on the iPhone and iPad and it's finally here on Mac OS Big Sur and it's going to be on the upper right corner of your screen and it should pop up immediately and it 
LTE and here you're gonna have control for Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, AirDrop, Do Not Disturb and so on and so forth. And now that we know that the control center is a fantastic addition, you don't have to bring it up all the time. If there's a certain control that you want to access quickly, just simply drag it out of the control center and put it right here on top. For example, let's say AirDrop, you can just put it right here. And as you can tell, the new notification center also features the same redesign widgets that you get on iOS 14 and iPadOS 14. They do lack of interactivity. Let's say the calculator, it's only linked to the calculator app, but most of them compensate detail-wise. And you can customize your widgets by just going all the way down and here you're gonna find edit widgets. Right there, you can select if you want them small, large. Some of them come in only one size, as you can tell with this one, but then you have the different options right here at the bottom. You can also make your MacBook Pro show the battery percentage. Once you update to the new Mac OS, you're gonna see the lack of battery percentage. But if you wanna bring it back, you can just go up on the Apple logo, system preferences, and then you're gonna go to dock menu and bar. Right here in dock menu and bar, you're gonna go to battery, which is gonna be right here at the bottom. And you can select if you wanted to show the percentage, which is gonna be now right here. Next up, we're gonna have how to show remaining battery life. The release of Mac OS Sierra back in 2016, Apple ditched the time remaining readout for MacBook battery. But thankfully on this new Mac OS, it's being brought back. So you can just select the battery icon. You can go to battery preferences. And once you go there, you go on battery health and it's gonna show you the battery condition and the maximum capacity. And right here in the same menu, you can look at the battery usage history by just going on usage history right here on top. You can see the battery levels on the last 24 hours or the last 10 days, as well as the screen on usage. So on your new MacBook Pro 2020, you can implement your own unique accent colors and all you have to do is go to system preferences. Once you're there, you're gonna go to general and you're gonna see all the accent colors right here. You can select whichever, and you can go to the last option to get the multicolor. And now I'm gonna show you how to disable wallpaper tinting in Windows. So if you hated how apps used to blend into the background wallpaper, then you'd be happy to hear that the new Mac OS lets you put a stop to that. So you can just head over to System and Preferences. You're gonna go to General, and then you're gonna uncheck the box that is gonna say Allow Wallpaper Tinting in Windows, as you can tell right now. Next up, I'm gonna show you how to customize Safari tab. So if you go right here in the low icon, of the screen, it's gonna open up a menu where you can enable or disable the new tab sections such as favorite, frequently visited, privacy reports, series suggestions, rating list, and background image. And also the new MacBook Pro 2020 lets you translate any website to English. So as you can tell right now, I'm in a Spanish website and there is a little icon right here of translate. So just go ahead and click that and it's gonna translate to English. You're gonna enable translation and now everything is gonna be translated to English. Now I'm gonna show you how to view block site trackers. So Safari in Mac OS not only prevents site trackers from keeping tabs on you by default, but you also get to view the block trackers in real time. So while browsing, any website, simply click the privacy icon to the left side of the address to bring up a file with a list of blocked trackers. For example, on Wikipedia, we have none, but maybe if we go to another website, for example, Gel, here you have three trackers prevented from profiling. And now for the last trick I'm gonna show you is adjust the photo vibrance. So as an addition on the Photos app, there is a new vibrance slider that lets you adjust the vibrance of an image. So let's just go and select a picture. We're gonna drag it in here. We're gonna go to edit. And right here on edit, you're gonna go to color, you're gonna see options, and you're gonna have a new slider bar where you can play with the vibrance of the picture in your MacBook. So that was it on the best tricks for your new MacBook Pro 2020. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, go ahead and give it a like, and don't forget to leave a comment down below on which trick was your favorite. Subscribe for more videos like this, and as usual, I'll see you in the next video.